What's going on, Lead Gen Beast? It's your boy, Matty Ice, Leads for Locals. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you a really powerful strategy for making your Go High Level SaaS products that much more valuable. So you get more customers, you get less cancellations, uh, you get people just staying longer and ultimately building up that uh, residual monthly income for you uh, with, with your SaaS product. So it's gonna be using the uh, custom value feature here inside of Go High Level. And uh, I'm really excited to do this video because there's when I was doing my research on how to do what I'm about to show you, I couldn't find anything. And actually, I was told multiple times that it's not possible. OK, but uh, fortunately, you know, I stuck with it for a couple of days and I actually figured it out. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I'm building for my SaaS products here. And then I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So make sure you stay to the end uh, so that you know how to do this and apply this to your SaaS product. So basically what I'm what I'm doing is uh, I'm creating, you know, my own CRM for a very uh, for a specific industry. It's for life insurance. And, you know, I'm, I'm putting uh, lots, lots of different, uh, you know, valuable stuff in there, like, you know, templates and all that. But also the other thing I wanted to do was create a long term follow up campaign via email that I could give to all of my customers because, uh, you know, I don't want them to just generate leads and like manage leads. I want them to actually convert and 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 you know, stay in front of their leads for as long as possible. So I'm pre-writing all of these uh, follow-up emails specifically for the life insurance industry. Here's the problem. Uh, let me actually pull these up. We're going to go into marketing and emails. So the, the problem was, is like it, when, when you have so many emails, it gets very tedious to, to have to go into each email one at a time and, you know, update the logo and put your links in and maybe your business name and things like that. Normally, you'd have to go into each individual email and customize that. Now, there's two ways to do that. You could, you know, uh, there, you could charge your customers like a small fee to do that for them, right? So it takes the work out of them uh, off of their plate. Or, you know, if the customer has to do it, it's not difficult. But like I said, it's very tedious having to go into every single email, right? So I have these emails. And, and so what I, what I was thinking about, like, uh, like is there, there's got to be a way that we can just like with a few clicks of a button, we can update all of the emails all at once. And that's exactly what custom values allow you to do. Uh, and, and what's so powerful about this guys is that you, like this, you can use custom values almost anywhere inside of go high level, right? So the sky is the limit. Um, use your imagination and creativity on, on how you can do this, but I'm gonna show you specifically how I'm doing this uh, for emails right now. So adding long-term follow-up emails to your, to your, uh, go, your SaaS product, I mean, it's just just awesome. You could have a, a virtual assistant or whatever write your write you know twenty five emails or whatnot, and you put them into the system, and you do exactly what I'm about to show you here. So, uh, we're going to scroll down to um, yeah. Let me let me show you my the the custom values I have set up so far. Th these are all the ones that I've needed so far, and then I'll show you what that looks like inside of the email. All right, so we're in settings. We go to custom values. All right. And all of the ones that I'm using in this SaaS product, I, I've named L for L so that when because uh, you you want to put training, obviously, with you, you want to provide training or some type of onboarding series for your SaaS product so that people know how to use it. So just to make it really easy, like all the ones L for L are, are the ones that they're going to have to customize. I'll probably get rid of some of these uh, these other ones. But anyways, you'll see here that I have a. a a custom value for very specific things, okay? And uh, you see email address, from name, custom plan link, free guide link, their logo, right? So basically what happens is when, when okay, so if someone subscribes to this SaaS product, all they're gonna have to do is click this edit button, change the value here, and literally this will change the logo in all of the emails like that. That's that's how powerful this is. So freaking cool. So I can give people tons of follow up emails that are going to help them convert their leads. And all they have to do is, is change this value and they, they customize their logo on all of the emails all at once. Same thing with with this, their custom plan link. Instead of having to go into like this doesn't you don't have to have a custom plan, but I like obviously putting links in my uh, emails to our surveys, you know, booking appointments, like to your calendar or whatnot. So again, instead of having to go into every single email uh, and, and update the link, they can just uh, edit this custom value, paste in the link to their calendar or their survey page or whatever, and it instantly changes it in all of the emails. That's it, that is, it's so freaking awesome. All right, so um, let me uh, let me show you the emails and, and how this actually works, okay? so we're. So I actually used to use HTML Builder 
And it's a little frustrating because I had to transfer everything from HTML Builder to these emails here, but that's okay. Not a big deal. I liked HTML Builder because I have a very specific email design. I'll, I'll just show you what it is here. Um, I like having the logo. The I, I like having a clickable image below the logo. Then we have the text of the email. And then at the bottom is a button. Okay. So that, uh, that's just worked really, really well for me. Okay. So what we do here, because um, you can't add custom, at least not that I'm aware of, I didn't see an option for it. You can't add custom values inside of the HTML builder. So you have to go into emails here. So you would just uh, create an email. Um, I actually, let me start from scratch too, because, um, and then I'll show you this one, because I want to show you the template that I use. Uh, let's see. Okay. So we'll create a new email. Uh, it's this simple, it's this simple design. And then like, I'll delete, um, there, there's like two sections in this email. I'll delete the bottom section right here. So you get, you get a placeholder up here, which is a logo. You get the clickable image, the text and the button. You'll see here, there's another image. I get rid of everything below this button, um, except for like the unsubscribe stuff. Okay. So just want to show you that really quick, but let's, uh, let me show you, let me break down the email and how I have this set up. Also, I'm going to take you into workflows because, uh, remember we, we want to make this as easy as possible. So, uh, like when you're updating the from email address and the, uh, the from name, you want to make that really easy for your customers as well. All right. So let me break down this email first. Come on. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm so fired up about this, man. I'm so excited because this, like, you know, going just beyond having a CRM and lead management, like if you can provide really valuable assets like funnels and pre-made follow-up campaigns, text campaigns, email campaigns, things like that, that are specifically designed for your customer's industry that are, it's already pre-done for them. They just have to customize it really quick. That just like in my opinion, skyrockets the value of your SaaS product. It's huge. All right, so you'll notice here that uh, there's nothing in this placeholder one. So if we if we click this, normally that that placeholder image would be right here, um, right there. But you'll see what I have right here. I actually have my custom image URL. And uh, actually, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to show you how to get this here really quick. One second. All right, guys. So I just opened up uh, another tab for Go High Level. I, I like having two tabs open. All right. So all you're going to do, you're going to uh, grab this, this custom value. Uh, what do you call it? Key. All right. You're going to copy this now. Now, really important. Watch this. Uh, and then I'm going to show you how to get this, um, this image URL uh, for the for their logo. Okay. So let's go back. And you're just going to paste in the image URL. However, uh, I'm going to paste in the alt text here, but notice that, uh, so you want to get rid of the space right here. Okay. So let's scroll over uh, between the brackets and the last letter. All right. And you want to do it in the beginning as well. Otherwise this is not going to work. Okay. And, and you would paste that into the image URL. Now, how do we get this image URL? All right, check this out. So what you want to do is you want to have your customers upload their logo into go high level. I usually just have them do it in the funnel. So you see here, I've got uh, pre-made funnels for them as well. So what they'll do is they'll, they'll click on the funnel and we're just going to edit a page really quick. So I'm going to, I like opening these in a new tab as well. All right. So let's open that. And all they're going to do is change the, the logo here really quick. And I'm still, I, I'm pretty sure there's a way to use custom values and I, I I'm pretty sure there is uh, inside of your funnels. So when I figure that out, I'll do another video on that. Um, customizing the funnels is a lot faster, a lot easier than, you know, 25, 50 emails, obviously. So, you know, that, that's what I'm starting with now. But uh, if I figure out how to do this for uh, funnels, I'll, I'll let you guys know. But uh, anyways, so they click on the logo and we're going to scroll down. They'll click right here and they'll upload their logo. Okay. Now, once they've uploaded their logo, all you, all they have to do is click on, uh, just hover over it, click on this, uh, like the, the copy link here. See how the, the image link is copied to clipboard. All right, you're gonna take that, and actually we don't need this anymore, uh, this page. You're gonna take that, you're gonna go back to your custom values. Okay. Custom values. And then you would paste this in. So we'll edit this. You're going to paste this into the value, save, done.
and it will uh, immediately change all of their um, all of the logos to uh, to all the images to their logos inside of this email. Okay, and you could test this too. Send a test email. Make sure you know you got everything working fine uh, properly, right? But just so freaking powerful. All right, next. Um, I like to have a clickable image here. So what I did here is you'll see that this link, all right, custom values, custom plan link. Okay, so what I want to happen for my customers is that when their prospects click this link or this uh, this image, I want it to open up their appointment calendar or in this this uh, this case, like a survey page. So again, we're gonna go back to uh, funnels here and this is after they've obviously connected their custom domain and, and stuff like that, but they would grab the link to their, to their survey here. Okay. Usually it would display right here. Obviously this is for the SaaS product. I don't have a domain on this right now, but they would grab the URL, come back. Uh, uh, well, no, go, I'm sorry. Go back to uh, custom values. Ah, come on. Sorry guys. I'm lagging a little bit here. All right. Uh, so they grab the link to the, uh, the URL to their survey page, appointment calendar, however it is that you are setting it up. Doesn't matter. Uh, go back to custom values. And then right here, custom plan link. We're going to edit this. And instead of sending it to Google, they're going to paste in their URL, save and boom, instantly all of their emails now have like this image, all of their emails now have this link. Okay. Right here. And yeah, like this, just to say, all right. Um, I do the same thing on the button here. And then, uh, so if we scroll down, I got a button right here, same thing, custom values to the, the, uh, to the uh, custom plan link. All right. And then right here, you'll notice too. So I, I typically in my emails, I like to obviously have uh, people sign their emails, put their name, their company name, maybe their uh, phone number as well. So again, you can put custom values in here so that it automatically updates every single email. Uh, so that they don't have to come in and put their signature automatically. It's just it's just insane. So that's uh, that's this specific email. And then I do want to show you the workflows here really quick as well. So what do you guys think so far? I mean, give me, give me, give the video a like if this is like not insanely powerful for making your SaaS product that much more powerful. Well, that's kind of redundant. But anyways, you get what I'm saying. So let me take you through the workflow here really quick. All right. Because again, we uh, you know, there's going to be a from email address and a from name on every single email. So again, we want to make it as easy as possible for our customers to customize that. So if we go into our workflow, <clears throat> oh, and also guys with the emails, uh, what I do is I just clone the email whenever I'm writing a new email so that all the links, like everything is still there. You don't have to constantly paste in the custom value keys. Uh, you can just clone the email and then just change the text. That's all you have to do, okay? Uh, just a side note. All right. So right here is my, my workflow. Okay. So, and typically what I, you know, this is totally up to you. I'll send like three or four emails within a week, week and a half, usually when uh, people first subscribe uh, to their list. And then I spread it out over seven days. So now my, my customers will be getting a very long term email follow up campaign that just automatically stays in front of their, their prospects, their leads. It's awesome. All right. But I do want to show you this. I'll just grab this one here really quick. All right. So in this email, when you when you whenever you add an email, there's going to be a from name and a from email. Again, normally they'd have to come in and customize every single one of these. Don't have to do that anymore because you can create a custom value that they can go and customize here inside of custom values one time and it changes it everywhere. All right. So it'd be right here. Email from name, email from address. Okay. They would put their business email address that they have connected through Mailgun or Send and Blue, whatever. And then I typically do a first name and uh, dash company name for the from name in the email. And that's it. So, like the sky's the limit here, guys. You can create as many custom values as you want, wherever you need them to make your customer experience much easier and much faster. Uh, that's where you want to use them. So, that's pretty much it. That's all I have on custom values right now. I hope this was helpful, guys. I hope you see the insane amount of value that this can bring to your SaaS product. I'm really excited about this. Definitely going to be exploring how to use uh, custom values more and more. So again, uh, if you don't mind, please give the video a like. Uh, if you found it helpful, make sure you subscribe. I come out with this stuff all the time. And uh, leave a comment down below. Let, let me know what you guys think. Are you already using this or do you have any specific questions about this? Let me know uh, your thoughts in the comments. Um, make sure you check out the links in the description. I got some really good stuff for you guys in there. And uh, I hope you guys are crushing it and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.